We're gonna make a steak and potato meal, but this time of year, everybody's eating a little lighter. So what we're going to do is make a baby potato salad. We're going to cook up some hanger steaks, and we're gonna serve it with some roasted tomatoes and niçoise olives, and some asparagus spears with lemon and just a dab of butter. So it's a really pretty kind of light meat and potatoes type of night. Right before we put that in the pan, we're going to um, heavily season it with some kosher salt and black pepper. For the potatoes, I started with baby potatoes so we wouldn't have to peel them and they cook so quickly. So I just slice them straight across. These are little baby white skin potatoes or baby Yukon Golds, baby red skin, who cares? You bring them home, slice them up, put cold potatoes into cold water, bring it to a full boil. After the water boils, that's when you salt the cooking water. For our potato salad, I've grated a few tablespoons of onion in the bottom of our mixing bowl, and I added a couple of cloves of garlic. I then macerated them. I added acid and salt. That draws all the liquids out and makes a wonderful base for your dressing. Um, so the acid in this case, I just used white wine vinegar, three tablespoons of Fabernays or mayonnaise, a couple of tablespoons each of pickle relish. I really like relish, I'm gonna put more. <laughs> and some capers. I like the little baby nonpareil capers for this. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard. That was the container. A good drizzle of olive oil. Well, no more than about a tablespoon. It's just for the flavor. And a little Worcestershire sauce. Bloop. Bloop. And then to that, I'm going to add a little thyme, salt, and pepper. Give this a stir. We are going to chop up a couple of hard boiled eggs, throw that in there with our potatoes. Later, we're gonna garnish it with some chopped cornichon, cause, just because it looks pretty. Fancy little sliced pickles, um, a little parsley, and we're gonna serve the potato salad in bib lettuce cups. Take a break, come on back. <laughs> For asparagus spears, I like to bring a tiny bit of water, like literally, like a like quarter inch, to a boil, salt it, the water will eventually evaporate and the asparagus will be cooked till just tender crisp. And I also add a dab of butter, a couple of pats of butter, so that when all the water evaporates, all of the asparagus gets evenly coated with butter, but not too much. And I add a few slices of lemon. So that'll just kind of do its own thing. Once it comes to a boil, you can reduce the heat a little bit to a simmer. For the tomatoes, we've got the oven nice and high, 425, 450, it doesn't matter. We just want to slump them and brown them lightly at the edges. <laughs> Throw them onto a baking sheet, add salt and pepper. Olive oil has already been poured on them to coat. And sprinkle a little dried Herbe de Provence on top. Throw those in the oven. Got some working in the back. We've already made our potato salad. Our steaks are room temperature. I seasoned them with salt and pepper. Now they're going into the hot cast iron skillet with a drizzle of olive oil. When the steaks are done, you let them rest. That's the next tip for cooking perfect steak. Flat surface, room temperature meat, hot pan. At the end, ooh, I got myself. At the end, let the steak rest, then slice against the grain, and we're going to dress that with some lemon. I got these guys working. Come on back and we'll serve this up. the steak, you let it rest. You drizzle the charred, uh, caramelized lemon over the top. It's already been drizzled with some good fruity olive oil. I then add a little bit of parsley to the steak and a little flaky sea salt. I put a nice little pile of our roast tomato and olives to eat with our steak. Our potato salad. I put that in a bed of bib lettuce. I top that with some sliced cornichon and a little more parsley. See how the water goes away? The asparagus gets coated with the lemon and the butter. And we'll just take a few of our tender, crisp asparagus and pop that on the plate to finish out the meal.